Hey there, Adam here, and today we are going to talk about coming out. And today we're going to be talking about coming out at work. I've been at my job, my current job, for about two weeks, I believe, and prior to this job, I had only came out to one other job and in about a week, a little bit less than a week, I will be 11 months on testosterone and I want to talk about like how I went about telling my prior job and how I went about telling my current job and personally how I will continue to go about telling people that I am trans. Um, mostly until I get all of my stuff changed legally. So last year I started working at Dunkin Donuts and I believe August. I'm not entirely sure when I exactly started but I think it was August and at that time I was not on testosterone. I started testosterone in September so I believe I was working there for maybe like a month or so and I didn't tell anyone until I felt a little bit more comfortable with everyone, which I would suggest anyone to do is to not tell people until you're comfortable with doing so. So I told them, they were cool, it was whatever, I went through many stages of names, which we won't even talk about because see my other video where I play the name game, that's basically what I'm gonna call it. It's called the name game. So that went fine. But the environment that I was in was very accepting and I still talk to one of the people that I used to work with and so I was very concerned about how that experience would be once I left there. And so when I started this new job, before I had like officially gotten it, I was very much stressing over the fact of when do I tell them? Do I tell them? Do I just wait it out? What What do I do? I did seek some help online from some guys in one of the support groups that I'm in on Facebook and I just kind of went with my own thing. Um, so I went through orientation and that was about three days and on the first day I decided that I wanted to tell them because I didn't want to continue orientation with everyone misgendering me and everything like that. So I just approached one of the people, which I don't even know if they have an HR department, but I just went to the person that I thought might be able to help. I told her that I was trans and that my name's Adam and I want he, him pronouns, that whole yard of things and stuff. So that went well. She went ahead and told all of the managers, which sometimes you're not going to be okay with that. Sometimes you want to personally tell each and every person. For me, I'd rather someone else do it so I don't have to fucking deal with it. But that's just, that's just me personally. Obviously there's no wrong way to do it as long as you're doing whatever's comfortable for you personally. For me, I didn't care that she went and told everybody um, well, she went and told the manager specifically because I had asked her. Um, on the topic of that, while well, we're on this, also I made sure to approach her and also ask if I was okay to use the male restroom and locker room and whatnot. She was like, yeah, well, of course, why not? kind of a deal. And I was like, hey, well, I just want to make sure because, you know, some people are assholes. So that went well. Um, since then, like I said, I've been here about two weeks, give or take. And other than that, it's been a fairly okay situation. There's one person that I work with that I went to high school with. I hadn't seen her prior for like six years. So that was a little weird for me. I was like, yeah. I mean, I have her on Facebook and she might see this video. If not, if you do, hi. If not, then you know, whatever. But, um, 
So that that was just a little bit weird for me, just because like I didn't know if she pays attention to my Facebook and whatnot. But other than that, at first it was she, and you know there were a couple hiccups with that, where at first the manager was misgendering me. I've also had some other employees misgender me, which is really obnoxious. I'll talk about like the whole pronoun thing in another video because I do want to talk about that because that's a big thing for me. Um, but other than that, my job is pretty cool. Uh, the majority of the people that work there are female. So for me personally, I feel like that's more comfortable for me. But again, that's just me. I feel more comfortable in situations with women versus men, especially like cis men. I don't want to deal with you. Go away. But anyways, so thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!